we're going to do this, let's go all the way. And you got Donald Trump. Tia Maria, it's like wine, but a little bit posher. <laughs> when you received the script, did you see the potential in the beginning or it was something that was sinking in? Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, we, we, everybody in the cast can vouch for this and in the whole crew as well. The whole mm -hmm. show just jumps off the page. It's just electric and it's just, as we say, a neon soaked adventure. And the characters are so phenomenal, so vivid. The, the family dynamics, the bonds are incredible. Um, and it just shows, it just goes in it's so many twists and turns. Every single page you read, you can't believe what's going to happen next. It so shows in the episodes and it's beautiful. It's mm. so visually gorgeous, makes you want to escape. And it's, yeah. and the music as well is like a whole other character within the show and that's that's just a, a, the most amazing element for me i just love it and when i when i read scripts i'm generally not very good at sort of visualizing mm -hmm. how it's going to look or what's going to be on the you know what i mean I, I i can't really see it in my mind's eye but with this script it was different i really i felt like nick love our creator and our writer really like made a conscious effort to um translate this visual story in as much as the script as he possibly could and that that goes for the music as well it goes for the you know the sort of tone of it it's very it was just very very clear uh what he wanted this show to feel like and and um and also that he had grounded it in some very real truths of people that he really knew, you know, um, or at least a combination of many people that he knew, you know, that he grew up with in South London um, and that he was intimately aware of this world or intimately in, uh, connected to this world. So, yeah, it was really exciting. And, I, and, and then they said, and we're going to shoot it in the Canary Islands. So I said, Hello. oh, no. No, <laughs> that's terrible. That's devastating. Really? <laughs> devastating. <It's> <laughs> yeah. When do we I, I thought that this is actually the part that you were saying, I mean, like, we're moving out of England for a few months. Just I'm like the family. You. Yeah, we're like, yes, yeah, let's do it. Exactly. And Martha can not only speak a bit of Polish, but she can speak a lot of Spanish and she's mm -hmm. phenomenal at it. So when we were in Tenerife, she was just like, Phenomenal. We'd always want to go to dinner with Martha. Who wouldn't want to go to dinner with Martha anyway? I, like, Martha, I can, can you order for her? I can speak Spanish if it's always in the present tense. So <laughs> There's nothing Martha can't do. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm curious, when you were building your characters, I could see that it's not only the script that you receive, but only also your emotions that you're pouring to those characters. And I'm curious if you can tell me how you were shaping those. Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah. I mean, I will say each character like definitely deals with so much emotionally throughout the show. Um, and they kind of hit everything on the head, you know, they they don't really um apologize for how they feel. They're very um open, they can be very brash about their feelings, whether it be anger or grief or um all kinds of sort of emotions. And it's just the way they kind of meet head to head is is incredible. And it was wonderful to get to play the emotional side of things. I loved it because there's so much humor um mm. and there's so much sass within the show. But then to get the emotional stuff, I found really moving, and I think the um, the audience are going to be really, I think, shocked by the way it can it can really gravitate towards the more emotional journey of of these particular characters. And was, I found that really special to play. I love yeah, it. yeah. And Marta, your your husband in this uh, in this scenario is the head of the family, but you're the neck who is actually moving the head, and you, you can you can see in this in this series how you're moving him in the right direction that you actually wanted to go, thinking for the, for him that he's taking the shots. Yes, I think, I mean, that's one of the brilliant things about this relationship that Nick Love created for these two characters. My husband, who's played by Jason Fleming, who's the sweetest, most lovely, most adorable and hilarious man Angel. you will ever meet, plays an absolute <laughs> rat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and he does it so well. And but but his history with Mint Ma is very much one of, you know, he he's sort of they found each other and he sort of took her out of a world of real like abject poverty. You know, she was a Romany, she was a traveler, and uh, you know, likely didn't even know how to write her own name. And he gave her, you know, a, a, a reason to have hope, a reason to believe in the future, a family, you know, and, and a foundation. Of um, course, but I will stop you here because I can see that he uh, planted a seed. And there is a scene, I think, in the second episode when you're in the bathtub that you could see that she loves the 
luxury living that they receive right now. And she doesn't want to come back home, as he's saying. Like, she's like, there is no coming back. I'm staying here. Whatever you say, I'm staying here. <laughs> yeah, well, I think, you know, she she's fiercely loyal and she loves her husband and she will do anything for him. But uh, she will not let her family go under. She will not uh, allow... Uh, her family to be undermined. And so everything she does, she does in service to her family. And he may not realize it in the moment, but she's making sure that he doesn't fall off the edge. Do you know what I mean? She's yeah. the one holding him up. And and you know what? And and uh, sometimes, you know, you've got to do that. Some, when your partners with someone, when your life partners with someone, you know, sometimes they can't see the forest or the trees. So, you know, and, and I won't say where that ends up going but it ends up going to some very difficult places for mint ma and for carly lord i mean everyone in this show gets challenged and and you know ripped asunder by loss and grief and sadness but you know the the point is to keep keep going you know keep powering through and hopefully make it to the other side better than you were before mm -hmm. so my final question marfa you were even in poland you you visit this country to see Yes, yes, I was in Poland in 1991 for six months, doing a doing a job there. And man, it was cold. <laughs> it was cold, <laughs> but but it was a fascinating and amazing time to be there in Poland. It was after Solidarity and the the your first elections, and Lech Wałęsa was president, and it was a very exciting, very vibrant, it, it, thrilling time. And it, I'm really glad that I got to experience that and also my brother-in-law is from poland so yeah, you said that. that's why i say you have to come back because you will not actually recognize the country it looks it's beautiful I was, just, I was in krakow for their wedding and it was gorgeous i love krakow <laughs>